हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एनाटॉमिकल एंड मोफोलॉजिकल डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्राइमरी एंड परमानेंट डेंटिशन ह्यूमन टीथ ह्यूमन टीथ इज अ हार्ड स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच फंक्शन टू मैकेनिकली ब्रेक डाउन फूड बाय कटिंग एंड क्रशिंग इट इन प्रिपरेशन फॉर स्वेलोइंग एंड डाइजेस्टिंग ह्यूमंस आर हेट्रोडॉन एज वेल एज डाइफाइडॉन Heterodonts are those animals which possess more than a single tooth morphology such as central incisor lateral incisor canine premolar molar these all teeth are of different morphology so humans are heterodont coming to diphyodont diphyodont are those animal which contain two sets of teeth such as first is deciduous and then consequently the permanent set coming to the eruption deciduous teeth start erupting at the age of 6 month after birth while permanent teeth starts erupting at age of 6 years this is a diagram showing eruption sequence of primary and permanent dentition first let's focus on primary set mandibular central incisor is the first tooth to erupt at an age of 6 to 10 months which is followed by maxillary central incisor at an age of 8 to 12 months central incisors are followed by lateral incisors canine erupt at an age of 16 to 23 months on an average followed by first molar and second molar second molar is the last teeth to erupt in deciduous dentition now coming to permanent dentition as you can see the first tooth which erupts are first molars at an age of 6 to 7 years followed by central incisors then first premolars canine second premolar second molar followed by third molars third molars are the last teeth to erupt in permanent dentition around an age of 17 to 21 years so i hope we are clear with eruption sequence now number deciduous teeth are 20 in number that is two incisor one canine two molars in each quadrant while coming to permanent teeth these are 32 two incisor one canine two premolars and three molar in deciduous teeth or dentition premolars are absent coming to the color deciduous teeth are bluish white in color while permanent teeth are grayish white to yellowish white in color crown of the tooth in deciduous teeth crown is shorter while in permanent dentition crowns are bigger in deciduous dentition narrow occlusal table is present while it is broad in case of permanent teeth the cervical portion is constricted in deciduous teeth but in permanent dentition cervical constriction is not well marked as we are watching this diagram this diagram is clearly indicating the contact area between two adjacent teeth in permanent and primary dentition in permanent dentition the contact area is very less as compared to the primary dentition coming to the root in deciduous teeth roots are larger and slender but in permanent teeth roots are shorter and bulbous this is clearly indicated in the diagram below root trunk in deciduous teeth root trunk is smaller as compared to permanent teeth because in permanent teeth the furcation is more towards apex as compared to the deciduous teeth this is a diagram showing eruption sequence of primary coming to the pulp in case of deciduous teeth pulp chamber is large and pulp horns are higher as compared to permanent teeth in which pulp chambers are smaller in deciduous teeth root canals are ribbon like with are glass appearance as compared to permanent teeth where root canals are well defined with less branching as you can see in the diagram 
Deciduous teeth have accessory canals which may vary in number, but these accessory canals are absent in permanent teeth. Coming to the vascularity, deciduous teeth are highly cellular and vascular as compared to the permanent teeth. Moving on to dentin, permanent teeth have more regular dentinal tubules as compared to deciduous teeth. In deciduous teeth, interglobular dentin is absent, but in permanent teeth, interglobular dentin is present. In deciduous dentition, physiological resorption occurs during shedding of tooth so that it is replaced by permanent dentition. But in case of permanent teeth, there is no physiological resorption present. Moving on to enamel, deciduous teeth have bands of ridges which are less common as compared to permanent dentition. Enamel rods in cervical area are directed occlusally in deciduous teeth as you can see in the diagram but this is not present in permanent teeth. In permanent teeth at cervical area the enamel rods are directed gingivally. In case of permanent teeth, bands of ridges are more common and I, as I already told, enamel rods in cervical area are directed gingivally. Moving on to mineral content, enamel and dentine of deciduous teeth is less mineralized as compared to the permanent teeth. In case of deciduous teeth, neonatal lines are present but in permanent teeth, Neonatal lines are seen only in first permanent molar. Periodontal ligament. In deciduous teeth, secondary cementum is characteristically absent, but in permanent teeth, secondary cementum is present. In deciduous teeth, alveolar atrophy is rare, but in permanent teeth, alveolar atrophy occurs. Permanent incisors have developmental grooves or mamelons on newly erupted tooth, which is absent in deciduous dentition. You can relate this with this picture. It is a picture of newly erupted incisors, permanent incisors. Coming to the dimensions, deciduous teeth are more wider mesodistally in relation to cervical closely. In permanent teeth, the cervical occlusal dimension is more than mesodistal dimension. Deciduous teeth have more supplemental grooves as compared to permanent teeth. Coming to the conclusion, now we can say for primary teeth, the crowns are whiter, smaller overall size, prominent cervical ridge, narrower roots are present. For permanent, we can say they are yellower, larger overall size and wider roots. Thank you for watching my video. Friends, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and ring the bell icon for latest updates.